The Amish market on 9th Avenue goes through about 800 plastic bags per day. And the manager says that's even less than what customers used to use before reusable bags came in vogue. They will get, bring in their own bank and they will buy in, uh, the bags we uh, provide them. But in a much smaller deli across the street, customers rarely bring their own. Most of the people like to take a plastic bags. Maybe not for long. State Senator Todd Kaminsky says a ban on plastic bags will be included in the state budget due April 1st. We have a framework in place in principle. It's about time, right? I'm all for the environment, but this kind of stuff is kind of a little petty. Lawmakers say this plan will be different from proposals we've seen in the past because there won't be a fee on plastic bags. This time, they're just banned altogether. The idea is to go not from plastic to paper, but from plastic to reusable. Food deliveries and carryout will be exempt from the statewide ban, lawmakers say, while counties and municipalities will have the option for a five cent fee on on paper bags. At the county level, 60% of the paper bag fee would go up to the state and 40% would remain with the county to help buy reusable bags and deal with the, the plastic pollution. On the local level, the five cents would be kept by the retailer. In response to the announcement, Governor Cuomo said in a statement, for far too long, these bags have blighted our environment and clogged our waterways, and that's why I proposed a ban in this year's budget. There's so much plastic waste, cutlery, napkins, wrapped in more plastic, in a plastic bag with your plastic lunchbox, like, it's a waste. If all goes according to plan, the ban will take effect next March. From Hell's Kitchen, Ali Bauman, CBS2 News. And here's some more information on plastic bags and what other states are doing about them. In 2014, California became the first state to ban single-use plastic bags at large retail stores. In New Jersey, a similar ban passed through committee and is now pending in the state Senate. Last year, Governor Murphy vetoed a five-cent fee on single-use bags. And in Connecticut, a statewide ban on plastic bags and straws is now pending in the state legislature.